Hey guys. Boy, I'm going from one thing to another. I just saw, I heard a fish jump over there. This is Hatters Park, Danbury, Connecticut. And going back to where I started from, I forget the name of that bird. It's not a, it's not a uh, crane. Can you see him there? He's awful skinny, blending in with that picnic table or chair or whatever that is. Uh, somebody told me yesterday because they had a picture. But yeah, they just redid the park here not too long ago. I'm gonna open up my view pretty soon. I'm taking a look. I just wanted to get a good picture of him. I don't know if he's getting ready to take off. I think he's watching the fish jump. Smart dude. Little stretch of the neck. Yeah, he's scoping things out. Definitely. Let's see if we can get him on the attack. But between then and now, let's give you a, a rip wrap. This used to be like all woods here, all trees, and then they rip wrap the side here. But uh, there's a ball field over there, uh, big giant sort of party house, or too big to call a gazebo. But they rent the park out, the town does, for parties and whatnot, get togethers, weddings. I've been to a couple weddings there. Uh, let's go back to Chester over here. Still trying to, uh, something, uh, somebody help me with the name of that bird. Something King, Blue King, or something, I don't know. She just told me yesterday, too. Pull up, maybe you can see this lake a little bit. It's pretty nice. I mean, this used to be. Oh, that was a big jump there. My God, I'm gonna go get my fish pole. But uh, this used to be like uh, a pretty crappy pond. I'm sorry to say, but uh, this island has always been there. Uh, I'm not sure if you can put a rowboat on here or not. But, uh, they did a nice job. It's it's really cool. I'm not sure if they dredged it, but actually they did a really nice job. I really haven't sat here and and checked it out. You know, a couple houses not not too far away, not too close, but it's comfortable. You know, to where you can still cast a couple lines and not be bothered. Yeah, my son John John over there. He don't like being photographed, so he might turn his back to us. I try to sneak in a photo here and there when I can. But anyways, I think that's enough. I don't know when this guy is gonna make a dive. Well, it would be nice to catch it on film and get lost here. Beautiful animal. You never know about how skinny they are, but when they take off, they've got like over a six foot wingspan or, you know, right around there. They stretch out pretty big. What you doing? What you doing? You seeing something? Looks like he's coiling up for the jump. That's what snakes do, you know. A snake coils up before it leaps. Man, the fish are jumping like crazy. Wonder what's in here. I mean, last time I fished here it was, you know, more of a, I don't know, largemouth bass, uh, sunnies or bluegills, whatever you want to call them. Boy, he's definitely eyeballing something out. Yeah, he's got something in his eyes. He's got. Oh, gee, oh gee. Uh, I told you, man, I'm going to get my fish pole. That sucker jumped right out the water. He's just waiting for breakfast. Oh, sorry, I'm not watching my screen. Come on, brother, go for breakfast. For breakfast. 
I'm running out of things to talk about. Actually, I got to make a couple phone calls. My sister's in from Utah, so it's a tight schedule for her. Uh, trying to see everybody, you know, trying to catch a couple hours at least with her. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. And uh, <laughs> he's got every time he makes a move, I think he's going to. He's gonna leap, but uh, ooh, ooh, did you hear that one? I mean, these guys ain't too big. I, I'm guessing maybe two, three pounds, but hey, the smaller the fish, the sweeter. Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. Everybody be safe and happy and healthy and all that, or do the best you can at it, and I will talk to you all later. Peace.